What's up guys and welcome back to Theater Plus. I want to show you here in Looming Legacy how to get a starter that is gleaming, a gleaming starter. So what we're doing here, we're just starting out with a whole new account. This isn't my normal account. I can show you later in the video what happens when you try to purchase gleaming starters and try to do this method and how it works or doesn't really work, but that's later in the video. But right now in a brand new account, say you started a brand new game, we're speeding up past all this stuff. You start out, you go, you talk to your dad, there's this tablet thing and they run away. Uh, so just know guys, I'm going to prepare you a little bit for this. This takes a little bit of grinding. It takes some time. It might take several attempts before you end up getting a gleaming. It's just like finding a gleaming in the wild. It's kind of the same chances. So it may take you a couple hundred tries. It may be the first try. Anyways, you go in here in the laboratory and you talk to your dad, you talk to your mom, and you talk to this other guy who you can later buy the Lumians from. We'll show you again later on in the video about that. Uh, yeah, so you talk to them and your mom is going to basically give you a starter for free. So this is how you do it. This is how you do it for free. You can end up spending a lot of Robux if you want to get second starters for free, but I don't know. This should be the best way to do it. And if you do this on a different account, technically when the trade resort comes, you should be able to trade it over to your main account. So it still might be worthwhile to do this. But when you come in here and you get to the main part with your Lumians, you get past all this talking, and then they're all going to line up here in front of you. So you've got the Vambat, you've got the Weevil, you've got the Dripple, you've got the Eaglet over here you've got the embit and you've got the snow cub now see the little picture right there it shows what their normal basically their profile picture looks like so basically that means like if you were to look at your box of lumians that's what they'll look like if they're just a normal and they're not a gleaming so the gleaming though they look a little bit different than these so look at what these normal ones look like and whichever one you're getting just know the colors just know exactly what the colors look like it might be a little bit difficult if you're colorblind uh to make this happen uh but hopefully that's not the case uh so right here i'm gonna choose weevolt after you choose the one for your beginner, choose yes that you want a nickname, and then it's going to show it right here. And see, you see the color right there. This is a, just a regular normal type. It's not gleaming. If it was gleaming, it would be a totally different look, a totally different color. So, because you didn't get the gleaming, you just turn the game off. Whether you're playing from uh, the app or online or whatever, just turn the game off right at that point after you see that you don't have the one you want and start it all over. Press continue. Then you're going to have to go through this whole spiel again where they talk and they go through this. And this, this entire process will end up taking about two and a half to three minutes to getting to a point where you can end up choosing another one of these. So you're going to have to keep doing this and it may take a long time, but then you'll go back into this second time or third time or fourth time or 300th time. I don't know. It depends on how much time you want to put into trying to get yourself a gleaming starter, but then you come back in here and then you're going to have to choose another one. Let's see. This time we'll choose the dripple. A dripple is probably a really good starter. Actually, you know, I don't know. We've got the eaglet over here. That's that, that one might look really cool as a gleaming if we get it as a gleaming, but we're going to open that. We're going to get this. Great choice. Okay, would you like to nickname it? Say yes, of course, and oh man, there we go, right there. It, it's just the normal look, so it's not the gleaming, but you just have to keep grinding and keep doing this over and over and over until you end up getting the gleaming, and then after that point, you do not want to reset. You want to make sure you continue, because if you reset at this point and you've got the gleaming, you're going to have to start over and you're going to not get it. So make sure you only reset after you get a normal one okay and if you get the gleaming then you're going to go through a battle with your mom and then it's going to be saved and it's going to be in your inventory after that point so we'll just show you here some samples of what they look like this right here that's the triple that's the normal one that's what he looks like when you choose him and let's see the next one over here we've had to go through and i've picked pretty much all these and tried it this is the embit again it's just the normal look haven't gotten any gleaming starters myself yet, but again, like I told you, it's going to take several tries to make that happen. Now, uh, the Dripple over here, let's take a look at him. Uh, any of these, really, you see that little picture right there? You can see the little icon and the image right there as you scroll through them. So, just look at that before, and then afterwards, you can come in. See, you'll see that one looked exactly like the one that it looked like when we were scrolling through the list before we even chose them. So just make sure that if the colors change, you know you've got a gleaming. So here I am on my main account. I've already gotten through. I've chosen my beginners a long time. The only way to get more beginners at this point is to spend 50 Robux. So kind of wondering if you want if you want to be able to get more gleamings, can you make this happen? Well, let's see what happens. So if I purchase one of these for 50 Robux, 
confirm the purchase, and then turn the game off right after that, will it make the Robux go through, or won't it, and will I get my Lumion that I purchased? So, let's just try this out. What do you guys think is going to happen? I think there might be a little bit of a surprise here that, uh, I don't know, could be a bug? Could, may not be a bug. Uh, but let's see, I chose the Dripple right here. Look, 50 Robux, I've got 3725, so it's not the one that I want. So what I'm going to do here is, at this point, we're going to uh, just close it down. And then open it again. So we, we close that down. We skip forward. We're opening this again. And we're going to see if we ended up... So that definitely was not a, uh, a gleaming. But we're looking here in our group. And uh, as you can see, the, the Lumion didn't actually show up in here. In my, my Lumion deck. Uh, it's, it just disappeared. So I spent the 50 Robux. And then turned it off right after I spent the 50 Robux. And then I didn't get the dripple so you can actually end up spending robux and then not getting the item see because like i should have at least had one and then i could trade over to one of you guys when the trading comes but i i just found this and i thought this was a really weird thing uh to to experience i looked through all of my my boxes there and they're just they're it's not in there so i'm gonna do this again here just to confirm <laughs> Because I thought that was really weird that I made a purchase of a Lumion, and then after purchasing the Lumion, I turn it off and come back and look in my Lumion deck, and it's not even there. So, but the the Robux was actually taken. So I, I was less the Robux, but I didn't have a Dripple. So I'm gonna do this one more time. We're gonna purchase the Dripple. We're gonna go and we're gonna do a buy now right here. Okay, so let's see how much we got. All right, we're gonna do buy now. Making the purchase, do we want to change the nickname, and then we're going to say yes, just to see if it is a gleaming or not. Okay, so that's the normal type, it is not gleaming at all. So we're going to turn this off, we're going to reset, we're going to go back in, and we're going to look in the box again. Alright, so back here, in the Lumion Laboratory. Alright, so looking at the funds there, balance is 3625, so I have spent 100 Robux to buy Dripple twice at this point. So I have purchased Dripple two times. And let's see, uh, let's go see if maybe the second one ended up in my box somewhere, because I don't think it's in there. All right, let's go, we're gonna look in here. So if you look in here, or when I look in here, I should see this Lumion here in one of these groups, but it's not in here, it is nowhere to be found. And I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe it's somewhere hidden here in group two, group three, group four, no, and then all these other boxes here, these are empty. I've got like 50 boxes I thought, I don't know, maybe they put it in another box like really, really far down here. I don't know, that may be crazy. Or maybe you're only allowed to have one of each kind of starter. That could be it too, but I don't know, they wouldn't allow you, I would think that they wouldn't allow you to buy another starter if... <laughs> you, they wouldn't if you already had one they'd say sorry you already have that starter you can't get another one and who knows I don't know they might even make it to where you can't trade the starters over so if you do this on another account end up with a gleaming there might be a small chance that you won't be able to trade it over but I don't think they would do that I think they would make it to where people should be able to you know buy starters for others and then be able to trade it over to them if they want to anyways I hope this has been helpful for you guys good luck hunting for your gleaming starters if you're new here would love to have you subscribe thank you for watching and we will talk to you guys later.